ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ so many commentaries available today they are taking as vishwa tejasa and vaishwanara as jiva and hiranyagarbha ishwara and uh, ishwara virat ishwara and uh, hiranyagarbha as cosmic okay but that's not the way upanishad is okay i also did the mystic earlier so upanishad says ಸಪ್ತಾಂಗ ಏಕೋನ ವಿಂಶತಿ ಮುಖ ವೈಶ್ವಾನರ ಸಪ್ತಾಂಗ ಏಕೋನ ವಿಂಶತಿ ಮುಖ ವೈಶ್ವಾನರ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಒಬ್ಬ ನಾಟ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಷ್ಟ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಜೀವ ಸೊ ವೈಶ್ವಾನ ದಟ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿಶ್ವ ಟು ಜೀವ ತೈಜಸ ಟು ಜೀವ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನ ಟು ಜೀವ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಮಿಸ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸಪ್ತಾಂಗ ಏಕೋನ ವಿಂಶತಿ ಮುಖ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಕಾಸ್ಮಿಕ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು what is this cosmic aspect being told a saptanga saptanga means the totality of existence the space the sky is the head the sun is the eyes the wind is the breath uh, prana ocean are the bladder earth is two legs saptanga is told for the taijasa saptanga is told for a pradna so now equating pradna to jiva is a misnomer because it's already the universe is brought in the upanishad understand are you getting what i'm saying upanishad definition of pratna taisa hiranyagarbha prajya pratna taisa and vishwa is universe not individual understand so that's where many of the commentators they have taken as individual jiva which is not what upanishad intent is first thing right we have to go to original intent of upanishad a universal being is being told okay universal knower universal experiencer is brought in right so now why it's brought in jiva has a sense of individual doership understand jiva has a claim of kartaham bhoktaham dataham i am the doer i am the enjoyer i am the knower so now because jiva is identified with the body so whatever you are claiming as individual is nothing individual about it universal about it first personal has to be replaced with universal not individual so jiva says i am doing something please tell me what you are doing so jiva is told jiva is vaishwan is collective of all jivas not individual jiva collective all jivas you are just one aspect of the collective jiva all bodies in the universe are being run by vaishwanar vaishwanar presence vaishwanar vaishwanar presence as a vaishwanar consciousness activates five pranas prana vinashta prakriti pancha prana prana apana vyana udana samana aham vaishwanaro bhutva praninam deham ashitam prana apana samayukta pacham enu chaturdha the digestion everything is happening vaishwanara so in upanishads and vedas vaishwanara is one who is responsible for karma phala action and result all bodies are happening all bodies are all bodies of the universe all jiva bodies of jiva the vaishwanara is functioning through that so now where is your individual sense of doership no but for the jiva if you say vaishwanara is doing it or ishwara is doing it it doesn't make difference it makes okay your individual sense of doership kartaham bhoktaham nataham okay so that individual sense itself is not real it's a functioning of the universal you are claiming it a person so first jiva is told deva deva the moment you come bring a concept deva deva is not deity deva is a universal consciousness functioning consciousness so universal doer is called vaishwana rise functioning through you Okay, first first level then tejasa 
is the inward experiencer. So the one who is experience inside or joy or sorrow mm. is Taijasa, person, it's not personal, it's impersonal happening in the universe. It's a universal function. So between Taijasa and Hiranyagarbha, both are cosmic. And Pradna is also cosmic. Yeah, so between Taijasa and that's for the dream level. No, it's not dream level. It's in the waking state also. Next sloka, I'll tell you it's waking state also. How it's waking state also. Manduja Karaka, second sloka, second sloka. First, Upanishad will bring waking state, dream state, deep sleep. Then next sloka, second sloka of Manduja Karaka. We tell waking state, dream state, deep sleep happening in the waking body. So, can we like uh, take Vaishwanara and Virat as... Ah, so, there is a, there's a difference between the Vaishwanara and Virat. Okay? The Vaishwanara, Virat, Hiranyagarbha and uh, Taijasa, Pratna and Ishwara, the difference is like this. Virat is the totality of the gross world. Totality includes living and non-living. Jiva and Jada. Whereas Vishwa, Vaishwanara is collective of us Jivas. Sentient. So you are bringing a experiencer part in the totality there is no experience possible. In Virat there is no experience possible. To experience possible something has to be inside inside and outside in Hiranyagarbha. There is nothing inside and outside in Ishwara. So the duality is required. Understand? Without duality, there is no experience possible. Experience is possible, bliss. Right? So now, if you speak of Virat, then experience is not possible. Right? In totality, there is no experience possible. Yeah. Experience to be possible, subject of the duality is required. So now, the totality of cosmic consciousness is called Virat. There is no experience other than bliss. The totality of Hiranyagarbha, there is no experience other than this. Totality of Ishwara, there is no experience other than this. That anyway realize in deep sleep. Right? So now, Jiva has a concept, I am the experiencer. Jiva has a concept, I am the experiencer. Because of Adnana. So Jiva is told, my dear Jiva, you are nothing special. You are a collective of all the Jivas is run by Vaishwana. Experiencer. A universal consciousness is the experiencer through Jiva, in that sense. So, but okay. So, two things. One is uh, the consciousness is the same between Virat and Vishnu. But uh, I will we'll, we'll go to next step, right? First, uh, Jiva has concept that uh, I am separate from the Jada. Jiva is separate from the Jada first, right? Jiva is different from Jada, and I am the experiencer. In fact, I am special experiencer. I am only experience. I don't consider your experience. Understand? So, I am only experiencer. I'm saying that means I have a sense of private, uh, what you call personality, personhood, and sense of individuality. Okay. First, you are told you are nothing special. It's all bodies in the universe are run by consciousness of Vaishwanara as a part of the universal consciousness. So now Vaishwanara is a collection of all jivas in the waking state. That means it's, we are bringing a concept of jiva and jada in the Vaishwanara in the Virat. A collection of all jivas and collection of jada. So now. Jiva is experiencing something outside. Virat himself cannot experience anything outside because there is nothing inside and outside for Virat. It's a totality. So Virat, we said, is made of Jiva, Vaishwanara, and something Jada. So Jiva is experiencing Jada through the Vaishwanara. Vaishwanara is experiencing Jada through Jiva. Jiva. Right? Understand? There is a subject object is brought in where there is no subject object. Universal consciousness is told. Now, next step is told. My dear sir, Vaishwanara is none other than Virat. It's a universal consciousness only. For your purpose only, I have told you it's a Jiva. In the universal consciousness, no experience is possible. In Vaishwana, no experience is possible. In, in Vaishwana, no experience is possible. As such, unless you superimpose Jiva on their Vaishwanara, Vaishwana himself is Virat only. So there's no experience possible for him. So, Jiva, you are saying some experience is possible for you. Okay? Right? As if you are personalizing it. First, you are universalizing it. Then, second thing you are saying is, in the universal, there is no experience possible. Because Vaishwana is Virat. So, in that sense, for Jiva is pointed out, your experience is Mithya. Whatever you can experience is Mithya. I will take the next step. Right? 
your experience is mithya jiva is told first personal identity or brought into universal identity and universal identity has no experience possible is pointed out next step right so that means something is your understanding should be corrected jiva in that sense second thing being told to jiva is vaishwana himself cannot experience in the because he is virat himself reality right virat cannot have two parts vaishwana and other part so for concept because you are claiming to jiva sentient being we are saying bring it to so then next step is why experience is brought in mandikya in first shloka says i am atma brahma myself is brahman right understand so myself is my innermost self which is called pratyagatma in deep sleep which is not a doer not a enjoyer not a knower okay so jiva is told in the waking state you are the same pratyagatma not knower not doer not enjoyer in the waking state also but you are claiming that you are a knower a doer and enjoyer in the waking state first your doership is removed because of vaishwana is brought in individual doership is removed okay it is told that everything is a universal functioning in the universal functioning you appear to be having a doership even though you don't have doership second thing is in the universal functioning also the appearance of doership is not real kartaham bhoktaham gnataham jiva is pointed out you are not a karta bhokta or gnata in deep sleep you appear to be doing that that's because pradna has appeared as vaishwana in the waking state so there i am atma brahma my self is brahma you are saying the self what you are there is pratyagatma and that is being pointed to brahman now what is happening here atma is equal to universal first level the uh, the body language is i am atma my inner self individual is brahma the totality so that's not obvious my inner self is totality is not obvious to jiva it's impossible it's easier to understand at deep sleep level because deep sleep there is no duality in the sense but jiva will say deep sleep there is no duality because there is no sense organs there it's not that duality is not there but sense organs are not there since jiva has still a concept of ignorance in the deep sleep jiva is saying sense organs are not there there is no duality is not there it's not that duality is not there so atma i can accept it's brahman because it's blissful and apparently there is no duality okay but apparent no duality is because not because there is no duality but because there is no sense organs understand and consciousness there that jiva accepts but jiva still doesn't accept that atma is brahman infinite some characteristics are accepted so now the that brahman concept has to be brought in the waking state brought in the waking state not in the deep sleep state so because in the waking state you bring a doership no enjoy should no worship so the no worship is removed i am atma brahma atma is a always a conscious entity brahma is the universal entity past present and future so essence of past present and future is myself that means no one is known is being told no one is known to the told jiva but no one is known no one is known is not possible in the waking state for me i know this banana but i cannot be banana no one is not possible not possible for known for me in the waking state in deep sleep state i have accepted non duality is there because sense organs are not there in the waking state i have sense organs but still i have a sense of duality no one is known not possible i am atma brahma is not possible for me in the waking state right because no one known separation is there first jiva individual is removed through a universal consciousness is functioning nothing person about your experience which is called vaishwanara then the vaishwanara experience something is told as mithya how because vaishwanara himself is virat there's no experience possible then what is the apparent experience for you so your experience is mithya in that sense how it is mithya we'll have to find out but it is mithya the dual the no or no duality is unreal for the waking state jiva understand now how it's unreal is the question the moment you ex- moment you bring a experience uh, this is something happens specially anywhere we take a no or known subject object duality we are bringing it. for example this is a banana banana is object and i am the subject okay but in the experience subject object duality disappears 
Now, banana has become one with me. Subject and object disappear in experience. In the experience, there's no subject of duality. Understand? So, the moment you speak of subject, object, they say duality. The moment you speak of experience, the subject and object become one in experience. A sense of non-duality, but not real. Understand? So now, universal experience are called here in Nagar by uh, is brought in. So now I don't have to speak of subject and object, but an experiencer I'm being brought in, which is connect subject and object. Now, experiencer, experience itself is mitya. Why? Because experience itself appears and disappears. So banana eating appears and disappears. It's not eternal. So the eternal aspect of that is Brahman, which is knowing principle. In every principle, every experience, this knowing principle is there. That is Brahman. That's why I am Atma Brahma is in the waking state is being pointed out. Subject object duality is Mithya. Only Satya which is there, which is the background. Atma Brahman. So many commentators are taking Vishwa as a Jiva's name for other Jiva. That's not, a, that's not the Upanishad intent at all. Vishwa is a universal consciousness. That's why very clearly Vishwa is defined as Saptanga Eko Mukha. Okay. But uh, the difference between Virat and Vaishwana is nearly semantic. It's a... Virat and Vaishwana is brought in from the point of view of Jiva. Because Jiva says, I am sentient and world is insentient. I am the knower and the world is known. Okay, Sentient and insentient is brought in. Uh, Jiva has the concept of duality. Now the duality is not there in the experience itself. In the, any experience, for example, any experience, always subject and object become one. Seeing, hearing, touching, smelling, all experience, subject and object, duality is not there. The subject and object is coming being the naming process. Experience gets split into object and subject. Oh, but we can show the dream example and... No, no, that is next level. Okay. So, Manduki Kari goes through very, very, very elaborate. Manduki Upanishad, Manduki Karika, they are very elaborate. Next dream example is shown. But first shloka itself, trying to remove a illusion of duality in the waking state itself. Many people think that some more explanation is required. In the first shloka itself, non-duality is there in all the states, waking, dreaming, deep sleep. You may not be able to appreciate it. You may have to go through more shlokas. But whatever you are called personal is not personal. It's universal. What is universal is impersonal. And what is impersonal experience is mitya. That is being pointed from right from sloka 1. Rest of the slokas are more reinforcing what is being told. But this word is not there. Of course, Vishwana Upanishad. Saptanga Eko Namishadi Mukha Vaishwana Raha. Okay. So now many, many commentaries okay, are confusing this Vaishwana with Jiva, which is not correct. The only person who didn't confuse that is. Uh, which is actually, I appreciate, right identification of the world. Okay. And many reputed commentators have confused the Vaishwana with the Jiva, which is not correct. Vaishwana is never used in terms of Jiva in any of the Vedic literature. It's a universal consciousness. But for the sake of convenience or for the sake of simplicity of communication, they have taken that. But I don't agree with that. Okay. So there is a logic of Upanishad. The logic of Upanishad you have to follow. I may be able to explain in a simple way, but what is the logic of Upanishad? We have to faithful to do that. Then why should I have to consider as Deva, not as Jiva? No, no. That problem is here. Many commentators are taking Vaishwana as, as Jiva. Okay. So the, here the another confusion is coming. Manduki Upanishad says Vaishwana. Manduki Karika calls it as Vishwa. Okay. So now many Upanishad, many commenters take Vishwa as the name of Jiva and going ahead. So Vishwa in Manduke Karika is Vaishwanara in Upanishad. Synonym. And Vishwa and Vaishwana are referring to a Deva, not Jiva. Universal consciousness. We are also ultimately our benefit will be there. Advaita is there. But what is the real logic of Upanishad? I'm trying to. Why, why, why universal consciousness brought in? First level itself, your experience is not individual. That's what I'm being pointed out. A knowership is not individual. See, Jiva claims that I am a knower. Okay? What is being told is, Jiva, you are a knower. You are claiming that you are a knower. But knowing is not yours. Knowing is Vaishwara. 
was in Vaishnava. So that way, it is a very, that's why I have not understood Mandukya Prashad for many, many times. Now I am getting a hang of it. Because I was getting confused with this term Vaishwanara, Vaishwa, all those things. Now it's very clear to me what is the logic behind that. So in many of the popular commentary, commentaries, that confusion is persist. So what is being pointed is Vaishwan, Jiva's individuality is removed. Jiva's personal personality is removed, first level. Then Jiva, Vaishwanara is nothing but Taijasa. Taijasa is nothing but Pradna. Pradna is nothing but Turiya. Step by step it's taken. But, uh, Taijasa. Taijasa. Means gross is nothing but subtle, subtle is nothing but causal, causal is nothing but uh, Turiya. Causal, what is, what is Pratyagatma and Turiya relationship is, Pratyagatma once he realizes ignorance is gone, that I am, I am, I am Brahmasmi, then Pratyagatma is called Turiya, Turiyatma. Till that time he is Pratyagatma, my personal self. Pratyagatma is in other words, sensor of personal sensor, self food. Personal self food is removed when Pratyagatma is understood that Brahman. But that starts with the waking state itself. And then many people say Vaishwanra, you have to do Upasana. Taijas, you have to do Upasana. So it's not about Upasana, it's about Nana. Mandika Vrishya is about Nana, a clarity. Upasana, this visualization, Mandika Vrishya is clearly pointing out what is happening really. Mandika Vrishya, Omkara is Upasana in many places. Mandika Vrishya, Omkara is telling all these things. Vaishwanara, Pradna, Taijasa, it's telling about reality, explaining reality. So this is the in in Virat, there's no subject of a duality. Virat is totality. Yeah. And Jiva and Jada are one. To explain duality of the individual, you bring the Vaishwanara component. Okay, what, what is you are saying is in Jiva level, you are feeling a duality. Duality is not at Jiva level, it's at the universal level. Okay, at the universal level also there's no duality. Next level. Understand? Yes, sir. Upanishads are explaining all these Vedavakyas. So, Pranana, Brahma, Tanaka. According to Upanishads, are Vedas. No, that is part of Upanishads. These Vakyas are coming in Upanishads. All these Vakyas are coming. Did I answer your question? I mean, yes. And what is new? So, in the context of liberation, so now we tell the Chiravasa you are not going to be. We are not telling Chidabasa, we are telling Jiva. Because Chidabasa has no, Chidabasa can understand anything through intellect only. We are telling to Jiva. Okay. So Jiva had his limited sense of body and saying, I am the doer of the body, doer through body. First of all, you will point out the doership is universal. Okay. Understand. You may claim that you are a body, but doership is not yours. So it is looking at consciousness and it is told I am Atma Brahma. You will look at the body language. I am Atma Brahma. My innermost self is Brahman. It is pointing out to something which is in your experience. Atma is not in your experience. Turi Atma is not in your experience. It is told about Atma is Brahma. So the Atma is your experience. Deep sleep your experience is Atma. So here we are not referring to Turi Atma. We are referring to Pratyek Atma. Your sense of selfhood is being referred. Understand? So many of the people say that I am Atma Brahma, Turi Atma is Brahma. No. It's Pratyek Atma is Brahma. Your sense of individual selfhood is being removed. Understand? The Atma itself can apply at many levels. Body is also Atma. Pratyek Atma is also Atma. Turi Atma is also Atma. So here, when I, I am Atma Brahma, when you are referring, you are not referring to Turi Atma. You are referring to Pratyek Atma. In the most, your sense of selfhood is being removed. Your Adnan is being removed. So in your sense of Pratyek Atma, all of us have a sense of self-food now. All of us have a sense of self-food, which is real or not, it's there. So now your sense self of self food is being pointed out as Pratyagatma. In that, your sense of self-food in the deep sleep is being pointed out. The Pratyagatma in deep sleep, which is you, you can't claim that I'm not the Pratyagatma in deep sleep. I'm not the Atma in deep sleep. That Pratyagatma in deep sleep has no doership, no enjoyment, no no worship. Karta, Bhokta, Data is not there. That Atma is Brahman, you are told. 
then you will not you will agree okay somehow it's relation trace is there but i can't agree fully because there is not there instruments are not there the body mind intellect is not there that's why body mind intellects are coming to the waking state how its mithya is being told okay so from jiva you go to vishwanara vishwanara to vilak anything happening in universe is nothing personal about it the whole concept of jiva is illusion that is coming in the first shloka pandukya kar pandukya prashna see many many of this upanishad upanishad commentaries they take jiva jiva has atma and anatma okay We, uh, virat has uh, atma and anatma so then atma is atma is same anatma is different they take jiva as there and now in mandukya prashna really jiva is ignored completely it is not there <laughs> you are not even speaking of jiva <laughs> huh? no no jiva is not used for explanation purpose first itself you told jiva whatever you call it jiva is a brahman only you told then explanation is given is not is for jiva no no i am saying the teaching is for jiva many upanishad many commentators they are taking jiva's ignorance is removed in the pradna, uh, what you call as uh, in the turiya okay so here ignorance of jiva is being removed first step itself it's a, it's not even second step whatever you are calling personal is nothing personal about it you are claiming do worship it's nothing personal about it you are coming enjoy worship it's nothing personal about it you are claiming no worship it's not personal about it what is personal about it is ignorance ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇಕಾತ್ಮಾ <laughs> <laughs> ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇಕ now put it together so <laughs> now nah, this confusion is coming i also got confused by many commentators so that jeev vishwa tai is a problem according to individual which i am uh, right i i was always suspicious about that inquiry i have not understood that so then i found in uh, swami sachidananda saraswati he takes that vishwa tai is a problem as not individual is universal which is more appropriate in tune with the upanishad vakya that's why i take it that as a more right approach initially if you look at my two three talks earlier i always took as vishwa as a tajas as this bit individual which is not correct so they, what they do is they take vishwa as individual ignorance and virat they say universal which is not the intent of upanishad now if you miss the intent of upanishad throughout you have to do some correction in our understanding finally you will understand atma is not atma is parmatma that understanding happens even if it's wrong way you understand you understand it. but i am trying to follow the track of operation <laughs> i am i don't feel comfortable i have told gayatri many times i am not feeling comfortable with the wonder commission is because i was not getting somewhere i am feeling a noise in any of the commentary many commentary i have read okay finish now to remove ignorance upanishad is saying individual is not there that's the intent of upanishad right we can understand in many ways so there is a saying no there is a saying okay so somebody somebody is searching for a uh, what i'm saying wealth and he sees a small twinkling light in the mountain think that he is a diamond there he goes there okay in fact the the twinkling light is not diamond it's a lamp which is growing but fortunately for him near the lamp there was a diamond okay <laughs> by mistake you can find the diamond 
okay now i'm seeing what is diamond <laughs> instead of making i also made the mistake i also did mistake mandukya parishad many times i have done a mistake but every time i did a mistake i was not feeling comfortable because this was not matching for me now i caught hold of the the essence of upanishad right so now whatever i talk will be in tune with the teaching of upanishad even if you understand upanishad wrong way it will be benefit that's a different thing okay like some people have to say because samskara is not the realization no no see yeah it's all it's all it's all simple yeah now i today morning i today i told you nothing of your life is personal okay tell me where it says you say ashok jiva is there then atmanan is there then first it's the point out then like mandu ki first it's the point out there's nothing jiva what's all about jiva what jiva is speaking of nothing <laughs> it point out in first shloka i have not completed now this is a, this is the 10th talk i have not completed first shloka and another five talks are there for first shloka ah i have learned lot of things from netflix okay <laughs> ప్రత్యేకాత్మ <laughs> in the mind that is actually chidabasa correct in the class there is a empty space that is actually taken as pratyagatma and outside whatever is there is turiyatma correct and everything no not turiyatma also is brahman brahman andre they when this relation no, no. happens when the relation pratyagatma is turiyatma brahman you realize then it's called turiyatma but that word turiyatma need not come here we can just say it it's pratyagatma will not come turiyatma is pratyagatma is still ignorance ప్లస్ okay chidabasa cannot exist without pratyagatma chitagasa cannot cannot exist without pratyagatma pratyag so chidabasa when i says i am the body it includes pratyagatma it superimposes the body on the pratyagatma the so, ignorance is there it is actually the chidabasa and pratyagatma are different there's a complete difference pratyagatma is the inner space chidabasa is reflection chidabasa is ah, the waking state reflection. Ah, reflection reflection but reflection is animated reflection it says i am the body it will identify the body but when he says i am pratyagat myself is included right saying that pratyagat myself is changing guy and chidabasa is changing pratyagat myself is changing guy chidabasa is changing guy but when changing guy speaks he's taking reference of unchanging guy mind is going up mind is going up and down no? deep sleep chidabasa got a cause of condition now this way mind is like a moon atma is like a sun correct so but when you have a sense of i i when you are speaking of chidabasa is speaking of i i am body but he is speaking pratyagatma also superimposing ha so we are actually yeah chidabasa is changing pratyagatma is unchanging correct. so if we have to say what is the difference between chidabasa and pratyagatma what is it is taking the identity uh, so if i am speaking chidabasa pratyagatma it is changing it is unchanging in deep sleep it is not day where this is day correct. and example helavaga grass the hela tara any other example who is saying to go in fire the better example ha but this glass is better example for me because i am bringing the body concept and i am saying the chidabasa is claiming that i am pratyekatma as a body the ignorance is supposed to be pratyekatma that way i am bringing the body otherwise so i am the, that body iron in the iron file in the body is to tell you induce consciousness there's no i am not able to bring the body concept there body and mind concept there pratyekatma where is pratyekatma i see a compound cup of fire cup of wine in fire hmm so fire in the cup is pratyekatma fire outside is uh, brahman 
And the red hot IIT toppers, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now next question. Is it huh, correct? Huh. I'm good. I am I'm very comfortable with this uh, cup and glass. I'm very comfortable with this 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 See, guys, it comes for super Not exactly the, the snake example. Yeah. We should not bring here. That's a different example. Yeah, that one, that one so, you were telling now, really, in the, you, uh, you gave this from Teratman Chidabasa. You said, uh, super I am so and so character. I am villain. Is I can, can give some other meaning also. For me, natural meaning comes from the glass and water. Okay. So, in Upanishads, when you view examples, don't stretch the example. Limit it to something. Open snake example is somewhere, and water in wave example is somewhere else. Don't confuse them. Water in the glass. Huh? Water? Water in the glass. Huh? Does a record cup is better? Yeah, that is, you, you take that example. For me, I'm comfortable with this example. Yes, you can So Jivatma is Jivatma and Asma. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. No, no. Ah, see the word. No, no. Maybe no. like um, it's here. It's here. It's here. Manual error. Ah, that's what you see. Ali, Jeevan. Shabda. Reflection in Vidhana question. Chidabasa is Buddhis in Vidhana question. It's not equal. That's what you are doing. And another one, it's so a, here, it, this is Pratyagatma, right? Jivatma is a Pratyagatma. Yeah. Haryom Prabhuji, I have a question. What oh, question? Hey, you mean, say, Purnima. Purnima has a question. Impersonal Purnima. <laughs> right now. Huh? Are you in a position to ask questions? Uh, one little question regarding this uh, whole impersonal thing. Hmm. You said everything is impersonal. No, hmm. there is nothing personal about anything. Hmm. Just like ego is also every it belongs to everyone. <laughs> no, no, also. ego functioning is impersonal. It doesn't belong. Your uh, ego doesn't belong to your husband. Don't come uh, to sorry. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. So ego functioning is impersonal. Like similarly, even agnana functioning isn't it impersonal? It is universal only. It's impersonal only. Uh, Okay. It's impersonal. That's why it's called Avidya Universal. Avidya is universal, not individual. Anadi. Mm. Correct. And it is natural also, sad also. It's nothing special about it. Mm. So how to give that up? Impersonal. <laughs> when nana happens, so nana happens when you are impersonal, you are fed up with that. You, you miss uh, that whole combination. Uh, the sentient becomes fed up with that. Mm. He'll do some karma yoga, bhakti yoga, nana yoga, he'll beg the paramatma, then some guru will come and he'll try to teach you. So that's all. Yes. Yeah. That person is impersonal. Yeah, yeah. No, the question came because uh, Ashtavakra asked Janaka to give up uh, ignorance, uh, which is uh, he, which belongs to him, Manta. So, so that's why the question came. That's all. No, no. See, that, that's a teaching. See, Ashtavakra Gita is the yeah. highest level of teaching for a highest seeker. He's already mature. Yeah. Okay. Right, Ashtavakra is very special in the sense uh, it's a Nani telling about himself. Mm. Whereas mm. Uh, in many other cases, uh, a guru is telling about Adnani, guru is telling uh, about Nani to Adnani. It's a second second person view. Okay. Sri Krishna telling about Nani is another second person view. Okay. Whereas Ashtavakra is personal. The person means uh, Nani is telling about himself. Okay, okay. All right, Prabhupada. See, please understand in the universe, nothing is personal. You can be very happy, mm. but all are ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. What is the question? Uh, what is asking and what should I say? So, oh, now, after all this uh, jnana, uh. which is kind of uh, doing its rounds in the brain. <laughs> So, if somebody asks, uh, who are you, what I should say, no, not somebody, not XYZ. 
ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ <laughs> ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇದ್ರ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದಿಸ